Hello everyone, in this video let us take a look at uh, some of the questions that were asked on the community recently. So the first question is about uh, mandatory field for issue type task just for a specific project. So this user is asking about uh, how can we make a field required in a Jira project but only for a specific project at the same time along with uh, the issue type. For example, if you are uh, raising a task let us say one of the custom field category or uh, any field should be mandatory but this field should only be mandatory when uh, you're raising a task not really a bug in the same project or maybe you are uh, interested in making this field required only for one or two projects so this can be done with the help of uh, field configuration where you can uh, create a field configuration for a specific issue type and then you can map it to your uh, project or maybe multiple projects using a field configuration scheme. The second question is about a filter issue, filter issues with issue links that are labeled. Now this user is asking about how can we search for the issues using the issue links but at the same time he is also interested in uh, searching based on a specific type of issue link. So when you link to issues in uh, Jira, you have to specify the uh, type of link. Now, what if you want to search based on that type of link? For example, uh, uh, what are all the issues that are duplicated by uh, a specific issue? So this can be done uh, with the help of a linked issue uh, function in uh, jql using advanced uh, searching so do take a look at uh, this uh, advanced searching using linked issues and uh, this can uh, probably help you the third question is about is it possible to create a jira issue from an external site so this is one of uh, the uh, mostly asked question and the answer is yes you can actually raise a ticket uh, in jira from an external site now this can be achieved in a few different ways. I'll probably mention uh, two of them. The first way is to use issue collectors in uh, Jira. So using issue collectors, which is a native feature in Jira, you can uh, create a form that uh, you can embed in any website or any web page. So you can uh, use the issue collector. The other option is to use the Jira REST API. And with the help of Jira REST API, you can uh, communicate with uh, Jira, you can uh, raise issues and uh, in that case you need to develop your own uh, integration or maybe some kind of an interface uh, in um, uh, any programming language that uh, you are comfortable with and then you can uh, uh, raise tickets in Jira or issues in Jira. Now this user uh, Vijaya is talking about uh, how can we set the due date automatically when the issue is uh, created and uh, this can actually be done with the help of uh, script runner so you need uh, an add-on and script runner can actually uh, do it uh, very easily for you you need to use uh, one feature called uh, a post function and uh, there is a post function or scripted post function feature in uh, script runner now when you create an issue during the issue creation you can uh, define that please uh, also set the due date based on my issue creation date so you can definitely uh, look at uh, script runner if you want option to show just task marked as in progress now this uh, user is asking about uh, how can we display on the dashboard list of all the issues that are under in progress so this is again uh, not very difficult to achieve using uh, jira dashboard but uh, you can also create a filter of uh, all the issues that are relevant in this case uh, issues with a specific status so you can create a filter uh, with a jql like uh, status is equal to in progress and when you when you create a filter you can uh, use a filter result gadget that uh, you can use on your dashboard to display those uh, issues or the result of uh, that particular filter and uh, this is in my opinion a very simple thing to do in jira natively without using any add-on so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much